question. Right, so if you are read and understood considering a clinical examination station, can we please begin? Uh, so I'm going to enter the examination hall, wash my hands. Uh, hello, good morning. My name is Dr. Ufuk. My candidate number is Dua. Um, I've been asked to examine your foot today. Uh, so before I proceed, could you please confirm your name and date of birth? Yes, um, Tom, I'm 56 years old. Hello, Mr. Tom. So today I have been asked to examine your foot. So this would include me looking at your foot, asking you to walk for me, and also performing some movements on your foot. Is that all right with you? Okay. Uh, before I proceed, I'll have to ask you to please uh, un uh, roll your trousers up to your knee length, if you could, please. Okay. All right. And I would ask you, do you use any crutches to walk? Yes. All right. If you could kindly uh, stand up for me and walk for me. Do I have to? Uh, it's all right then if it's hurting for you. Thank you. Uh, so now I'll start by first looking at your uh, foot. All right. So I'm going to look okay. for any scar marks. If there's any swelling, if there's any, um, if there is any abnormalities, if there is any fasciculation, any muscle wasting. Then I'm, uh, since I'm not able to ask, uh, ch uh, check the gait as the patient is having pain. So I'm going to move on to palpation. So, um, Mr. Tom, now I'm going to feel your legs. Uh, feel your foot. All right. So okay. do you have any pain at the moment? Yes. Uh, all right then. So uh, let me start by uh, by first feeling your uh, uh, feeling your feet. I'll be as gentle as possible. All right. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start feeling the. I'm going to first uh, compare my uh, compare the temperature of both the feet. Then I'm going to uh, then I'm going to try tap. I'm going to tap on the um, uh, lateral aspect of the uh, knee joint uh, on the common on the head of the fibula to check for if there is any numbness or, uh, uh, if there is any numbness or tingling on the lateral aspect of the leg. Do you feel any uh, tingling or numbness on your feet? Yes. All right. Now I'm going to, if you could kindly bend the knee for me a little bit. I want to check if there is any masses in the popliteal fossa. Okay. So now I'm going to perform some movements. All right. Uh, so if you could uh, kindly lie down for me. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to, uh, now you just have to relax. Okay. And I'm going to just uh, do the leg roll first of both the thighs, the legs, and then the ankles. Then I'm going to go for leg lift. Please uh, loosen uh, your legs and uh, just relax. Okay. Tell me if you feel any pain. Okay? okay. So I'm going to do the leg lift. Then I'm going to do the ankle clonus. So I'm going to take the uh, 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 ankle clonus at a time, a right leg. I'm going to uh, 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 fold it at 90 degree angles. Then uh, slightly, uh, I'm going to take the foot and slightly uh, yeah, invert it and external rotate it. And then keep it for some time to see if there is any ankle clonus. I'm going to repeat the same on the left leg. leg. Now I'm going to check for the power. So I'm going to start by first asking the patient to, if you could kindly uh, move your hips up as if pressing against the uh, my hands, I'm going to try to push them down, okay? Okay. Okay, now can you please push your uh, thighs um, downwards on the bed against my hand? I'm going to try to push them up. Okay. okay, so can you please try to take your legs away from the bed? I'm going to try to push them in, okay. Uh, so could you please bring your thighs together? I'm going to try to push them uh, outwards. Okay. Now, if you could kindly bend your both the knees, I'm going to try to push them uh, um, inwards. You're going to try to resist. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do that again on, um, uh, on the other limb. All right. Now, I'm going to try to put, you're going to try to push your legs out. I'm going to try to uh, resist. Okay. 
Okay. So now for the uh, le uh, for the feet, uh, so I'm you're going to try to uh, push in as in a pedal, but I'm going to try to resist. Okay. Okay. I'm going to now you're going to try to bring your feet upwards towards the ceiling. I'm going to try to resist. Okay. Okay, yes. now you're going to try to uh, bring your thumb upwards facing the ceiling. I'm going to try to uh, resist. You're going to try to bring your thumb downwards. I'm going to try to resist it. Okay, okay. all right then. So now we're going, to, uh, try, uh, we're going to check some coordination. If you could kindly take the heel of your right leg and run it down the sheen of your uh, left leg, please. Yes. Okay, if you could do the same for me with the other legs. Okay. All right. Okay, now I'm going to check for your reflexes, Mr. Tom. So you just be relaxed. I'm going to take first your ankle. I'm going to check your knee jerk. So I'm going to bend your knee at right uh, at right angles to the hip and slightly re uh, slightly relax it. And then I'm going to tap the uh, uh, percussion hammer on the uh, uh, on the uh, tendon on the patellar tendon. And I'm going to watch the quadriceps contract. I'm going to repeat the same on the other leg. Now I'm going to move on to the ankle jerk. I'm going to bend the uh, I'm going to uh, bend the knees um, and in, uh, in uh, inversion of the feet. Uh, uh, feet. Then I'm going to tap on the uh, Achilles tendon and watch the uh, calf uh, muscles uh, contract. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Then I'm going to, um, now I'm going to check for sensation. So I will first take a cotton and I'm going to uh, check it on the forehead. Can you feel this, Mr. Tom? No. All right. Okay. So I'm going to place it on the right. I'm going to take this and I'm going to place it on, your, on different parts of your legs. Okay. You're going to tell me if you feel or not. Okay. So okay. can you feel this part? I'm going, I'm placing it on the tip of your great toe. Can you, uh, on your right great toe, can you feel it? No. Okay. Can you feel it on your left toe? No. Yes. Okay. Can you feel the, uh, it on your heels? No. Can you feel it on your other heels, the left heels? Yes. Okay. okay. Can you please summarize your examination now? Okay, so I have examined uh, Mr. Tom, uh, Mr. Tom, a uh, uh, middle-aged man who has presented with uh, with uh, 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 with a foot drop, a right foot drop. Uh, the patient with the on complaint of numbness, yes. Oh, uh, with the a complaint of numbness on, on the and? right foot. On examination, on inspection, uh, uh, on inspection, I've seen that the patient has presented with uh, multiple stab wounds on the right uh, right uh, uh, sheen. Possibly, patient might have had an operation for varicose vein, and um, and the patient uh, is unable to walk but uses a crutch. So I wasn't able to assess his gait. On palpation, his Tinel's test was positive on the right side but negative on the left side. Um, uh, tonicity, his uh, his um, uh, muscles, um, the uh, uh, oh, uh, was normal tone. There was no cronus present. Uh, power was uh, five by five on the left, and about three to four by five on the right side of the. Um, then um, uh, his uh, coordination was uh, a, a coordination was uh, of both the legs were intact, and his reflexes on the left was intact, while the right uh, right ankle jerk and knee jerk was slightly diminished. Okay, and. Um, Considering yes, your examination. What are your provisional and differential diagnosis? Uh, so con uh, considering the, um, this, this could be that uh, per perhaps this, there was common perineal nerve injury or perhaps a sciatic nerve injury and uh, or it could be due to possibly a patient might have uh, 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 some systemic uh, causes like diabetic neuropathy or even uh, a disc prolapse what or, uh, or injury to the lobe. would you do to confirm your diagnosis? I would like to do some investigations. First of all, I would like to do a thorough uh, examination of the patient. I would like to examine the spine and the uh, knee, jo uh, knee joints. And also yes. I would like to do some uh, investigations. That is, electro. Uh, first I would do a nerve conduction study. Then I would like to do an MRI, an X-ray, X-ray of the um, MRI, an X-ray uh, radiography. The lumbar of the, spine. Bo uh, lumbar spine and the lower limbs. Okay, good. And, and some blood investigation. And, and okay. blood test to exclude any systemic causes of uh, foot yes. drop. What treatment can you offer to this patient? 
So uh, at, at the moment, I'm going to uh, of, I'm going to uh, first of all uh, give analgesics and supportive management for the patient. Then uh, specific management, I could give food arthrosis uh, to support the foot. Then I could uh, uh, I could give for um, uh, physio. I could advise physiotherapy for strengthening the muscles. And uh, and surgical management would depend upon the cause. If it is due to um, it could be uh, if it is due to Achilles tendon rupture, then I could go for repair and exploration and decompression and uh, sorry uh, and uh, exploration, decompression and repair of the tendon, or I could go for tendon uh, tendon transfer. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.